bitch on frostbite. Where the man's look like headlights. Ooh. This the boss life. Hey. Yeah. yeah. My bitch exclusive and she bougie. Yeah. Bitch, Real life, no movie. Whole lot of groupies. Yeah. Uh, I got a movie clip. Huh? Hey. Ain't it little Uzi? Ain't yeah, see, they like to talk a lot. Yeah, uh, but we like the mute uh, shit. Uh, yeah, uh, pull up and shoot pull shit. Up yeah, shoot. I like the roof and shit. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sisters. This is Brianna talking, by the way. Um, so, as many of you guys may know, I recently got a breast augmentation and lift. So, I'm going to be doing a Q&A and how my surgery went and how it was and just, like, the whole process of it and just anything that you need to know. I'll let you guys know if I miss something, my bad. I'm going to let you guys know as much information as I can. So, I did need a, I did need to get a lift and a augmentation because i did have really sad boobs so sad as in saggy boobs i don't like to use that word because like i don't like that word because me and saggy do not get along obviously but i did have saggy boobs so um me and britney have always had really really big boobs funny story when i was like in eighth grade britney had bigger boobs than me so everybody would always make not make fun of me, but like all the boys would be like, oh, that's how you could tell them apart because Britney has bigger boobs than Brianna. And like, my boobs were really smaller than Britney's at the time, but then mine started growing. Um, so me and Britney have always had big boobs, but Britney has always had them a little bit bigger than mine. And then I was really, not really, but I was a little bit on the thicker side when I was in high school. I think I weighed about like the, the most I weighed was about 130. I'm currently like 114, 112. I always fluctuate between those two. And uh, my boobs were really, really big before. So as I started getting older, I did start losing weight. I'm not sure why. I guess that's just what happened to me. I don't know. But yeah, me and Brittany started losing a lot of weight. And we started getting really skinny. I'm not sure why. We've always had the same appetite. We didn't start dieting. We didn't start going to the gym or anything. It just, it just happened. I started losing a lot of weight so my boobs started to sag a little bit and then obviously Brittany had two kids I'm speaking for me and Brittany because uh, Brittany is getting her boobs done on Tuesday today is Wednesday it's about a week she's gonna get her surgery so me and Brittany have always wanted to do this maybe about two three years ago we wanted to do this because we started getting into modeling and just taking pictures and you know that's one thing that stopped us from wearing certain clothes i mean it didn't stop us because we still if you guys go back on our instagram pictures we still show off our boobs but it was harder like it would just uh it would get me so mad and like someone asked what made you just want to do it and i'm like what made me want to do it, it, it i think it i've always wanted to do it like three years ago i've always wanted to do that but up until now, um, I like not too long ago, I wanted to wear this dress that was like really low and my boobs were just hanging. So I'm like, what do I do with them? And I would always wear the pasties, but I'm like, it's not doing it for me. Like, it's not doing it for me. I hate them. I hate how they're saggy. Like, it's just not doing it for me. I'm going to stop just like, telling you guys why I wanted to get my boobs done. But basically, I just really wanted to do it for myself, me and Brittany both. And then someone was like, told Brittany, um, don't do it just because your sister wants to do it. Like, no, what the fuck, Brittany? Me and Brittany have always wanted to do this. It's just that I beat her to it first because um, I don't have kids, obviously. So when you have kids, that kind of stops you from, you know, doing things. And um, Brittany wasn't going to have a babysitter or whatever. So I said, how about I do mine first, Britt? And then once I'm done, you can start your procedure and I will take care of your kids for you in the meantime that you recover. So we went ahead and did that deal. Okay, so I'm going to start off with your guys' questions. So someone said, what made you finally do surgery, which that I already answered. Let's start off with what doctor I went to because that was like the main question I got. I actually found this doctor through Jenny and I loved how her boobs look. Me and Brittany worked with her about like a few months ago and she had told me like that she went there and I was like, oh my god, I'm going to like look into it. Until like recently, I asked my cousin, I was like, hey, do you know of any... Um, doctors in LA because me and Brittany had went to a consultation here in Sacramento and I was just trying it out like okay let me go see what it's about and I actually had to pay like 60 bucks that is non-refundable but I was like it's 60 dollars whatever so me and Brittany went 
and I was not fond of his work like I was like I don't not like his work I felt like he left something you're gonna want it's like if you go to a car dealership and you're like I want this fucking car like this has to be mine like that's how I was with my car too I fell in love with it I was like I was not in love with his work I'm like what the fuck like I don't like his work oh and then when they told me the price I was like fuck no like not for that price so they had quoted me here in Sacramento 11,600 so I was like, you know what? Hell no. Like, I'd rather go to an L.A. doctor, somebody that knows what they're doing, someone that I'm in love with the work. Like, hell no, I'm not going there. So that was last year. So then I told my cousin recently, I'm like, hey, do you know of a doctor? And then she goes, yeah, like, Dr. David E. Kim. And I'm like, okay. So I searched him up on Instagram, and I was like, oh, my God, I love his fucking work. And then I was like, oh, my God, that's where Jenny went. Like, yeah, like, and I literally fell in love with his work as soon as she, I went on his instagram like i have to go like his boobs look so natural and that's what i was going for like i personally don't like boobs that are really high profile like this like i don't know i don't like boobs like this personally i like them to be really natural so shout out to you jenny for putting me on and uh, jenny was so cute she was like literally checking up on me while i was going through my recovery process like she would text me all the time like hey how are you like how are you feeling like just everything i was like oh my god jenny i'm going through so much right now i'm never doing this like this is freaking terrible like i hate this I'm, i do not know how you did it but this is like me and her i was just literally like like venting to her I'm like oh my god this is so freaking horrible but yeah like she was literally checking up on me every day to see how i was doing but yeah shout out to you jenny you're a real one for like being there for me through my time because I was going through a lot, so I will never forget that. So, I went with Dr. David E. Kim. And then, so, next question was, how much? So, um, keep in mind, you guys, this doctor is a Beverly Hills doctor, so his prices are going to be, like, outrageous. So, I already knew I was going to pay a lot. So, when I went on my constitution, he was like, oh, you need a lift. Like, if you want, like very perky boobs you're gonna need a lift which i knew so he's like you're gonna need a lift and he goes and then do you want an augmentation to shape your boob i'm like yes like i want the whole thing like if i'm gonna be if i'm gonna go under the knife and be put through all this pain and everything i want my boobs to be perfect like i'm not gonna just get a lift and then still be really small and like no shape to them so i'm like no i want an augmentation as well whatever so I was like, I want those two things. I went to the desk um, after my consultation was over. The, my consultation was literally like five minutes. I went to the receptionist and she goes, okay, so this is how much your boobs are going to be. So the I got the, there's three different types of implants. So there's the saline, which is the salt water. So then there's the uh, silicone, which is um, like... I don't know how to explain it, but it's the silicone. And then there's a silicone gummy. So the silicone gummy was like the best implant. Um, you don't have to massage the gummies. So I was like, I want the gummies because the price difference between the regular silicone and the silicone gummy was only a thousand dollars difference. So I was like, I just want the gummy implant might as well. So the silicone gummy was ten thousand. 550 and then the full lift was 5,000 so in total I paid $15,550 and that wasn't including my meds or like my everything else that I had to pay for I'm still kind of recovering but this is what they look like um I have no bra on or anything right now so I'll show you guys a before and after um so yeah I paid 15,560 to be exact and my sister's paying the same thing as well and then someone said, how many hours was your surgery? So my surgery, because I needed a lift um, and augmentation, it was two hours in surgery. And then I was an hour in recovery. So, um, yeah, it was it was a long time because most people that are like flat chested that don't that just need a breast augmentation. It's about 30 to 45 minutes. 
or an hour so mine was two hours and then i was in recovery for an hour so i didn't wake up till the third hour i think i have to say that that was one of the most scariest things i've ever done i would have never thought i would have done this like seriously you guys i've always joked around saying oh i want my boobs done like i really want them to but i never thought i was really gonna do them and it's so exciting at first when you go to the consultation you're like yep i'm gonna do it like i don't care but as soon as the day comes you guys you start getting more scared and it's okay so if you're like this is your first surgery ever which it was my first surgery ever i was so freaking scared like i was like gonna shit myself literally i couldn't sleep the whole night i was tossing and turning i didn't sleep at all and, like oh my god like my stomach was just hurting me like oh my god like, you know you're, you're so nervous you're just like oh my god like i literally felt like that i wanted to back out i was like praying like and everything and i get there and i'm like telling the nurse like is it okay to feel like this and they're like yes like if you're not if this is your first surgery and you're acting normal then it, you're like not okay like they're like it's okay to feel like this when it's your first surgery and i'm like oh my god i don't want to do this i was like damn near crying i'm like oh my god i'm a bitch out right now i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna fall through with it but i was like i was saying like if all these other girls could do it i could do it Bree. like just be strong i was literally trying to like uplift myself but i couldn't like i was like oh my so then she goes just sit down and she poked me with my IV my anesthesia wasn't in me yet so I'm like shaking panicking and she goes your high blood pressure is a little high but it's okay it's because you know you're having bad anxiety right and I'm like yeah so then they take me to my surgery room and I was just like oh my I was like, oh my god, like it's gonna go down when I start seeing all the equipment. I see the bed, like the bed is like that, and then there's two arm things. So I'm like, my arms gotta go right there. Like, what the fuck kind of shit is this? Like, I don't know, you guys. I was just so freaking scared. And then anesthesiologist just comes in and he starts injecting me, and I'm like, oh my god. And I feel it go all in my body. Like, literally, I thought to go inside my whole body. And I just start feeling relaxed. And my nurse is talking to me, like, trying to, like, make me get distracted from the anesthesia. She goes, so how are you? How's Sacramento? How's the weather in San Francisco? Whatever. And I'm like, it's good. Like, da -da -da. I was, like, really trying to, like, she was trying to put my mind in peace, at peace. Like, in a pot so I could go to sleep with a positive mindset and not be really scared. So I was like, oh my god, like, I was like, you know what, Brianna, like, just go to sleep, just close your eyes, because I was already feeling it, you guys. I felt so relaxed, but I was trying to fight it, and I told myself, you know what, Brianna, like, just go to sleep, close your eyes, and I did. I just, I told myself, close your eyes, I closed my eyes, and I knocked the fuck out. And then, um, like, next thing you know, I woke up. Next question, somebody said, how many cc? So at Victoria's Secret, my bra size was a 32 double D. Uh, but when I went with to get my consultation, he was inspecting my boobs and he goes, um, like a lot of people like at Victoria's Secret don't really know what they're talking about. Like you're like in like looking at your boobs itself, I would say you're like a full C. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, he goes, but since we're going to give, cut out some extra skin, you know, we are going to make your boobs smaller. So with the with you putting in the implant they're gonna get a little bit bigger so i was like okay i was like well i kind of want to keep my size he goes but well, if you're as full c you're really not going to be able to notice the difference whatever he goes i think you should do a small d so i was looking at his work online so i was like you know what i want to go i want to be a small d um, a lot of people assumed that when I came out with me getting my boobs done, they they expected like some porn star boobs or something, like boobs that are up here really big or something. I don't know. I feel like that's what a lot of people thought. But I, I told people on Instagram and Snapchat, like, I literally just fixed my boobs. They're, they're almost the same size. Like, a lot of people were like, your boobs are, you can't even notice them. That's what I was going for. I really wanted them to be natural. To be honest, I really just wanted them to be perky and lifted. So that's what I have right now. Like, they're, I have no bra on right now. They're just perky and lifted. I want that fake um, look up here. So I feel like I got what I really wanted. And I'm really happy with the outcome. He doesn't tell you how many cc's you get till after your surgery is done. I asked him how many cc's I got. He's like, oh, you only needed 305 cc's. Someone asked, enter or over the muscle? I did enter the muscle because I heard that's like the most natural 
um looking but i heard that if you do get over the muscle that it does it's not as painful so someone said what kind of lift did i do so i did the anchor i had no choice there's a circulator lift so i'm not pronouncing that right he's like you're gonna need the anchor lift so basically what that is is um they cut around your nipple they cut down and then underneath your boob i tell you guys this was the most painfulest surgery well, this is the only surgery I've ever got and done, but this is the most painful surgery I've ever had. Maybe because I had a lift and they had to cut my nipple and underneath and under that. Because um, a lot of girls were like, oh my god, my augmentation was so simple and easy. Not mine, you guys. Like, mine, I thought I was going to die. Looking back, I'm like, that was easy. It was only, like, three painful days. And then after that, you're done. And, like it gets easier by the day just you can't do a lot of stuff you can't move your arms um at all like fernando had to help me pain meds i got prescribed norcos and those were making me feel so nauseous i didn't throw up at all not once did i throw up during my recovery or even when i woke up even though i did feel like it but i held that in i do not like throwing up especially you feel like after surgery you cannot breathe it feels like you are just like you got just cut up and you have so much pressure like you can't even go like this like like you can't even do that because it hurts you so i was telling myself do not throw up hold it in breathe because if you throw up you you need to use this force right here and it's gonna hurt you so i would drink a lot of mineral water which helped me a lot and i would eat soups i would eat uh fruit and um one thing i did drink a lot was my antibiotics be on top of that you guys <clears throat> so you don't get any infections but honestly, guys, my recovery is going so well. I have not had any complications. The hardest part, I think, about getting surgery is having to sleep on your back. Be till this day, I'm sleeping on my back, and I cry almost every night. Like, <laughs> I always suffer, and I hate sleeping on my back. I hate it. Like, my back hurts so bad, and I really need a massage after, like, I'm after I'm healing and after I'm good. My doctor told me that I should be sleeping on my back for three months. The reason why you're supposed to sleep on your back is because you don't want your boobs to shift your implant. So if you sleep on your side, you don't want this boob to be more on this side. And, you know, so I was like, okay, I guess I'll listen. Because um, I did pay $15,000 fucking dollars. So I want my boobs to be perfect. So I have been sleeping on my back. And you are supposed to sleep on your back the first week um, with, like, three pillows behind your back. So you're really supposed to be sleeping like this. And then after that, you can start laying fully on your back. It does do um, implants. Um, I think they take care credit. I'm not too sure. I fully paid mine off cash because I didn't want another freaking bill. I was like, I'd rather just pay them all off right now so I don't have to freaking worry about my boobs. I told my sister all about my experience so she knows everything, what she has to go through. You are going to be swollen from up here really bad like really really bad i was swollen my boobs couldn't close now i could close them but this part was separated like this and i was scared i was like oh my god my boobs are gonna be my boobs are gonna stay separated and i hate when boobs look separated like i was like what the fuck but i could close them and then you do have to wear a sports bra for about a month just so that your boobs are lifted and they, that they're not so saggy or they don't drop as much I feel like they're already dropping and they feel so much smoother and um, like I said, um, with the gummies, you don't have to massage them. The other silicone, you do have to massage, I think, like all the time or for about three months. So I'm two weeks post-op. My boobs do still feel so sore and bruised. But everybody says in a month, I'm going to feel so much better. But we haven't really been on YouTube as much because of this. And Brittany's been busy going to her appointments in LA. So this is why we're a little bit off. But Brittany fully recovers. I'm going to be fully recovered. We're going to be back on our grind. And then somebody asked if I have nipple sensation. And I currently don't because I just got my boobs done. But the doctor did tell me that you might lose sensitivity which i was like i don't give a fuck it just pet, fix my boobs please so uh i don't i don't feel anything yet so i mean hopefully i get it back if not then i'm freaking screwed and then somebody asked will it affect me later in life when i have a baby i don't know i didn't ask that question because like i was like not thinking ahead and then somebody asked do you need somebody to take care of you i personally need a fernando please like i hella needed fernando like i don't know what i would do without him he literally helped me out so much you guys but um um I, I feel like you do need somebody there at least like the first three four days because you need somebody to be lifting you up from bed because you have no you can't use your your muscle from your boobs at all like you know how you have to get up you go like that 
So you need somebody to lift you back up. And every time Fernando would lift me up, my blood, I don't know if it was my blood going down or like my boobs going down. Oh my God, it hurted so freaking bad. I would hate to get up to use the bathroom or get up getting out of bed. That was the worst part. Sleeping on your back and then getting up from bed was the worst part of surgery for real. Like, oh my God. I'm so happy I got mine over with. And now looking back, I feel like anybody could do this, you guys. Anybody, like, do not be scared. While I was thinking about it, I was like, oh my God, so I'm going to be asleep. And then, like, I would imagine myself looking at the doctor, cutting me up, open, opening up my nipple. And I was, like, thinking, I'm like, oh my God, he's going to do that while I'm asleep. And I'm like, no shit, that's what surgery is about, what the fuck, free. And I'm like, and I woke up, I'm like, this is all freaking easy. Anybody could do it. It's just the recovery time. You just got to tell yourself, it's three days of painfulness, but then after that, you're going to be fine. So I told Brittany that and she's like, okay, she's still scared, but I gave her a heads up. So I hope this video helped you guys out a lot on any information. I'm sorry if I missed anything. Um, I was just like blabbing a lot and um, this video is going to be so long. Oh my God. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Do not forget. Okay. Do it for the Muriel twins if you guys fuck with this. Make sure to comment down below. If you guys have any questions or anything you want to know. This is what my chichis look like. So, um, I do still have my... Sorry, I forgot to mention this. I do still have my stretch marks. I had stretch marks um, even before I had my boobs done. I've always had stretch marks. And the doctor told me, your stretch marks might not go away. They're probably still going to be them. Like, I do still have my stretch marks, but this is what my boobs look like. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.